Hello, hello, and welcome back to another one of Sarah and Steve's real-time experiments to figure out what the best decks of the early Opus 7 meta are. Uh, right, uh, now I'm packing Mono Ice, and on the other side of the table you're on very misleading sleeves. Indeed, it is Mono Wind. Mono Wind, yeah, it, it took a moment for me to remember <laughs> as well. Yeah, uh, shall we do this? Would you like odds or evens? Uh, evens this time. That is evens. I'll go first. Sounds good. I will not keep what is a very tricky hand. Minor improvement. Ready when you are. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep this one. Sure. So let us start with get rid of thief for must Google. be a good hand and let's get rid of uh, I'm always a little bit daunted when I see people throw away two cost backups on turn one. They've either got a really good hand or they're absolutely insane. Butter for Archer. Almost rhymed. And that's my go. Sounds good. Let's get a scholar into play at the expense of Celeste. And I'll pass there. This is shaping up in an interesting way. I think that Turbo Ice was a bit of a passing fad. Admittedly not a very fun one, but Big Ice was way better represented at Euros, and I can only see the cards that got printed this opus being better for big ice. Okay, so you now enters the field. Um, You've now got the ability to check the top card of the deck once per turn for it being I a summon. Am indeed. But a lot of the time it doesn't really matter too much. Vata. It is Vata. Yeah, another Vata. Okay. All done. What do you get if you turn if you uh, freeze Vata? Turns to ice. Ah. Oh. That was absolutely awful. Uh, and it's on camera. You're done, right? Yes, I'm done. You're done with puns, right? I'm, I'm, I'm done with the pun. We'll lose Vane and Scholar for Edward to take out what the last card in your hand is. Another zoo. Hmm. Okay. I think I can pass there. Hmm. Ice is all about the big build-up here. This ice, anyway. No Thaumaturges in the deck. It's way more interesting uh, and way more interactive I'll than use typical. Yuna's ability. Sure. Well, there you go. So that's five, five turns. Is five times is that? Yuna's failed to find a. Uh, well, that's the thing. That, that there's there's nine summons in the deck. Some of the time it will effectively draw you a card. A, a small portion of the time. It feels like that card is now in your hand. Mostly it's an information thing. It's, it's nice to know whether you uh, should accept a trade or go for a block or something. Wait, I used... Did I, no, I didn't. That was the last time I turned I used that one, wasn't it? Uh, so I will mill one. Sure. You hit lock. And battle phase. Bring it. Attack with the queen. For Harley. Harley would be kind of useless now anyway because Edward's already on the field. And it's your go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in hand. Hmm. I don't like that too much. Renoa and one for a Glazia to shoot Yuna and you discard one. Uh, let's get rid of Vala. You just oh, made Vata. up a name there. Vata. Well, not even slightly him. Vata, it's him, yeah. That's your boy. And I'll stick down a flam. I'll pass there. Another game recorded on the eve of fireworks night in the UK. To anyone who's not from British shores, I'll give you a bit of an explanation. It's when idiots and chavs and white trash the world over unite and set their paycheck on fire. Oh, you're, actually, you're one of the dying breed who actually taps their three backups before just saying, I'll play Aerith. Um. 
Moogle special. Okay. The Moogle, the Moogle special. Let's it's horrifying when this deck really kicks into gear and suddenly all of the backups are ultra interactive and you've got five on the field by the end of turn three and still somehow have cards in hand. However, that's where Ice comes in and says, no, you're not allowed cards in hand. Rather than needling you with constant Thaumaturge plays, this is much more about building up into big forwards of value like Locke and Celeste and the like, and then Flan taking away all the cards in their hand at a time that suits you, when you're most scared of summons or most scared of interaction. When you start to pull even a bit ahead, Flan is very good at being the nail in the coffin that says, no, you're not allowed to save up for a big turn to come back. So what is it that Flan does again? I can, during my turn, sack it for you to discard a card, or the bit everyone forgets, can search out other flans. Ooh. Once there is a flan on the field, the only thing stopping me from guaranteeing three more flans is the Emperor, really. That's it will great. happen. It will happen in a long game. The Queen. Every time you search a card that's not a summon, you'll boost your chance of hitting. I would pay for the queen. Sure. I'll use her ability. Any particular reason? I just want to see what the next card is. Yeah, why though? <laughs> because I want to see it. I, th I think some of the time it could be quite interesting to know what's on the top of your deck, like before you go for a shuffle or b before you fire off a, a Moogle 11. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite cool. I don't mind it. Is that you for now? That is me. Okay. The smartest thing to do here. Hmm. There's the smart thing and there's the the other thing. I'm going to go for the other thing. Stick down flan number two, and curve into Duke Larg, taking a little bit of a turn off by chucking away Zalera. I, I have a feeling that I might be able to control your number of forwards, possibly. <laughs> so uh, maybe Zalera being a sort of a two or a three for one isn't going to be too important. I think that maybe your hand has been needled small enough that you're not going to be able to pull off a huge combo turn. We'll see though. I'll pass there. Note that I didn't just crack Flan to take away the one card in your hand. Flan is not about keeping your opponent on zero all of the time. It's about keeping your opponent on zero on the most important turn of the game. I felt like being on two backups Duke Larg was never going to get played unless I deliberately made time for it and took a turn to accept more damage. Okay, tap Moogle, tap Aerith to tap and break Archer to break Duke Larg. Problematic, but I... Yeah, okay, yeah, um, sure, I'll take that. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at the top card. My god. It will never be a summon that you have a relevant time to cast. No, I know. It's just information. I think maybe the ability would start to look better if you pretend it's just information, like Yule. It's Yule, but you don't have a 10 card penalty if Yuna dies. Uh, let's have a look. She was brought in last turn. Uh, Indeed she was. Battle phase? Sure. Said Alstein, you have oh. cards in hand, so you have nothing to worry about. And I can't respond to my own EX triggers. And that is the end of my turn. Let's go two on Jill Nabat to freeze Yuna. And I'll pass there. She's a frozen queen. Ice queen. Ice queen. I actually liked that one. That, that, that wasn't too bad a pun. Okay. Um, tap. Get rid of the Moogle. For another specialised Moogle. Moogling. Sure. Uh, and this time I'll get a pain. Yeah, that's a little bit tricky. I suppose you could this turn if you really wanted to fire her out, but you're going to be floating one CP most likely if you do so. Um, be, 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 be. Anything else? Hmm. We're both on a reasonable hand size here. Four against five. 
doesn't feel like the ice we're used to and I've got to say it feels better for it. deliberating so hard. I'm trying to see if this how this would work. Okay, so pay those two to bring out each dollar. Okay. Then pay two for Diablos to play Veil for. Because Yuna's out. Really? Okay. Activate all those. That feels then play strange. Those chain. Okay. And draw a card. What was I saying about throwing away Zalera again? Um then mail one from the top of your deck. Genesis. And that's it. And that's it. Famous last words. <laughs> Two in hand? I think the best thing to do here oh I don't know I feel like there's a safe play that is maybe easier to blow out if you get decent summons or there's something more explosive that's harder for you to come back from and the way you're behaving with your number of backups makes me think that Something more explosive is the better thing to do. We're going to lose Matthias and Edward and Locke and three. Please don't tell me Nidhogg then, there. Nidhogg. Oh, good lord. We'll remove Yuna, and I don't know if you want to shuffle your, the cards in your hand or anything like that, but I'll, I'll happily take one blindly. Or sit them face down. Here's what we'll do. Sit them face down. Um... Can, can you respond? Can Absolutely, respond? you can. Okay. In that case, I will respond with, by paying three for Diablos, making Nidhogg four, and drawing a card. So I'll remove that card. Yep. Oh, it's from play, isn't it? Goodbye, Zidane. Curious that uh, you would rather that turn into effectively a discard too, you know? Mm. I'll pass there. You did part of Ice's job for me. <laughs> it's like, if you were going to be using the Aerith and the, the Diabolus any, anyway, wouldn't it be better for me to just take one of those? Well, although I didn't know it, this is a little bit better. Uh, get rid of Ishtola for Diabolus. I will. I guess that's going to be a break and break, activate. Break the Nidhogg and activate my backups. Well, it turns off any possible really strong Renova plays. That's a problem. Um, Riku will tap and mill one. Glazia would have loved that as well. Battle phase? Sure. And I'll attack with the Stroller and then attack with Pain. Since you've got nothing left to do, I think I might as well take some initiative here. But what about Aerith? Aerith means nothing here. <laughs> Let's crack out for said Alstein for a break. Which one? Pain. Because there are more summons that could turn your Stola into a reasonably good situation here. Or, or sorry, so there are less summons that could turn your Stola into a good situation for you. If you shrink Sadolstein to a thousand power, four thousand power with Diablos, that would be a kill on pain, but it wouldn't be on your Stola. I'll pass there. Unless, of course, you then immediately pay one afterwards. I'm just more concerned by the power level, really. There, there's nothing else much needing to justify. While I don't have Duke Larg on the board, pain trades with Locke, whereas your Stola does not. Okay, 
Riku Moogle to know another. Slowly getting there. And hmm, that's pretty much it. That's what I like to hear. As soon as there's a past turn, I know the tides have turned. Said Wolf won't be needed here. Genesis to freeze down Ustola. And I'll go to combat and start taking back a little bit of battleground. Uh, Veil 4. Oh, no, no Yuna. No, Yuna. Yuna this time. I'll pass um, there. Yeah. She's removed from game. Oh, no. Removed from game dance. seeing how many glaciers are gone. Bale for in damage. Trying to find a camera spot that isn't totally blinded by the light. One, two, three. Wait, what? You're not moving me? Pain. No draw though this time. Nope. Um, get rid of Archer for Barbaricia. Um, reduce Genesis to one thousand. Seems likely. Ta no, that's not right. That's not going to work. Uh. Then use you stole the one ones. for Stola to blow that up. Unfortunately, being frozen or dull doesn't change the effectiveness of that ability. And that is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One in hand, two in hand. Just one. <clears throat> hmm. I'll go to combat and attack on said Ulstein. Yep, that's going through. And there's another Zidane. I think for the second main we can lose a Jilnabat. And probably Summoner is too slow here. I would really like to fish back a Zalera, but it's going to be too slow. 6 CP on Orphan to Dylan Freeze these two. Okay. Unless you could miraculously remove a couple of ice characters in response to the trigger. But on the hand you have, that's not great. One in hand? Yes. I think Orphan might have put me far enough ahead. So I think we'll make that zero in hand. Yeah. Okay. I'll pass there. It's unfortunate that I don't still have Genesis to be able to maybe not use the flan that turn or, or could have just dropped Orphan and, and then Genesis takes the last card out of your hand anyway but it just so happens that resources like Ustola that your opponent doesn't have to hmm. spend a card to get the use out of um, yeah, quite good against dice Zidane just because? Zidane just because okay <laughs> anything else? Then let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't like what's happening. I don't like the speed this is going at. You do have a very wide board, and I kind of need to keep up the presence. I'll go to combat and attack on Orphan, Freeze, and Barbaricia. Okay. Ugh. Is that other Aerith I needed? Oh, to break the field out. Hmm. Tentatively, I'm faced with the dilemma of how I approach the Dane. How badly do you want to risk the Dane's life? Yeah, I, th I think that if I simply curved out backups. Then you could attack in with Zidane 
and then set all stein blocks. If I kept a forward in hand, you would take it out, and then you stole the turn Zidane into a trade on said Allstein. I want to disenfranchise that from happening, so we'll spend seven on Sephiroth. You would discard two cards if you had any in hand, and also if your hand is empty as he attacks, I can dull and freeze something. One of the new big pieces this time mm. around. I don't think it really suits Turbo. I think that one forward for seven, even though you're getting two discards out of it, I think that that's way too much for Turbo to play since they don't have backups. Feels a lot better off three backups. I'll pass there. Okay. I wonder if this could turn into a mill game. I do have quite a lot to break through. And I'm as a lever down in getting there. I also feel bad that I had to lose a Duke Larg there. I was thinking about going for the more passive play of just dropping the Duke Larg, but that's not going to stop Zidane from trading with Sidolstein and taking the Sephiroth out of the hand. Oh dear. Uh, battle phase. Okay. Attack with pain. I can't afford for this to keep on going. I'll block on Sidolstein. I'll pay two to kill Sid. Or an extra 2,000 from Stroller. That's a trade then. Um, I'll attack with Zidane. No cards in hand. Mm -hmm. That one could come through. Oh, that would have been incredible. Renoa to flicker just about anything here would have been out of this world. Anything else? No. This is tense. I'll go to combat and Dylan freeze the batter. Is that when he attacks? Yes. Okay. Queen. Another another of the Queen. Right. Time for a browse here. I think I have to spend one on Scholar to mine back Lock. And then play Lock. Losing a flam. We've reached the turbo stage of the game where neither of us is ever going to leave cards in hand. So I don't really think I need to be playing that plan. I'll just pass there. Okay. Zidane also not being able to be chosen by abilities means that he's immune to Genesis. He can't be chosen by Orphan. Sephiroth can't dull and freeze him. And that you stole that is really problematic. I would absolutely love glacier or, or something to be able to take out your stola. I would feel so much secure if you were not able to trade things up. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five for Diabolus. Choose five plus break it. Oh dear. Uh, four or less until the end it becomes 1,000. Tap Ishtola to deal at 2,000. Yep, Diabolus wins it. Um, battle phase, attack with Barbarishia. Oh no, sorry, it's Zidane first to get rid of that card. It's an orphan, you can activate a win character. Uh, bip, 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 bip. Vala, that's a Vata. You've given him a different name every single time. Barbarishia, yeah, I don't know who he is. He's, he's Var Vara, Vala, Vata. <laughs> Veni Vidi Vici. So long as it begins with a V. Well, there we go. Uh, wind actually beat ice. Yeah, I, I can't really say, like, I think it's a bit of a flimsy argument to say wind has activation, activation beats freeze, because ice is all about freeze. But there's no denying there were so many efficient plays in there that were able to offset the discard. I think I was lucky to uh, to have got the five-cost uh, Diabolus 
when I got I it. I was a little bit surprised actually when you archered the Duke Larg, and I thought there's no way this is going to work out. But it just never felt, with the pressure you were able to generate, like there was enough time for me to play the next Duke Larg. And it sat in my hand for turns and turns and turns. Just never got to play it because it would have meant taking way too much damage. And there we go. Just goes to show that Mono Ice isn't the be all and end all. And even when you check your deck top looking for Diablos and you don't find any, Unit is still a pretty good card. Mm hmm.